What's going to bring people together online is the, the internet is at its core a tool of communication, a tool of communication that we haven't had before, where it's almost, once you have an internet connection, it's almost free to access services across the world. I know in some countries that's not true, China, for example, but in most countries it's free. It's going to allow us to under, understand and appreciate cultures of, each, of one of the countries, and we're going to be a lot more culturally rich for it. I don't think so. I think the um, Declaration of Human Rights um, should already apply online. So your, your freedom of expression, past obvious, obvious restrictions, should be protected online uh, by your governments and so on. Obviously, that doesn't, that doesn't mean I'm saying that um, on certain websites you can't be banned for, di for breaking those websites' rules, but you shouldn't have your internet connection or etc. disrupted because of what you're saying or doing online within the law. So that's, that's one of the things that net neutrality helps because it means that I can talk about anything legal I want and my ISP can't do anything. So I think that it doesn't really need updating, it just needs to, it just needs to be that um, it needs to be applied online and these rights need to, people need to recognise that these rights apply in, as much in the online world, which is the same place as the offline world, you think, it's just a means of communication between two people in the offline world. So I don't see why it shouldn't apply already.